Hey everyone, welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. Tonight we're going to move on to Wizard Quest Part 2, Episodes 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Don't worry though, each one's pretty short, and uh, the whole thing together should only take about 20 minutes. If you like what you hear, there are three ways you can support the podcast. Number one, write a review for me. It really goes a long way, especially if it's five stars. Number two, share the podcast with people you think would like it. And number three, if you can spare a few dollars, you can join my Patreon page. I have uh, an amount there set for one dollar per month, which would go directly to hosting fees and that sort of thing to keep the lights on. And now, on to the chapters. I hope you enjoy. Chapter 5, Shelter from the Unknown As the sun begins its descent, casting an orange glow across the blocky landscape, a sense of urgency fills the air. The guide's voice, steady and unwavering, reaches your ears through the earpiece, warning you of the imminent dangers lurking in the shadows. Listen carefully, the guide advises. To survive the perils of this world, you must seek refuge within the safety of a shelter. The creatures and animals that roam the night pose a threat, and a sturdy dwelling will provide solace. Grateful for the guide's guidance, you assess the resources at your disposal, understanding the vital importance of constructing a suitable home with the stone tools in hand acquired through your earlier efforts. You feel ready to face the challenges ahead. The first step is to decide on the layout of your shelter, the guide instructs. Focus on the ground where you want your dwelling to stand and envision its dimensions. Taking a deep breath, you concentrate on the ideal spot for your shelter. In response to your thoughts, a holographic preview materializes in your field of view, displaying the shape and the size of the structure. Carefully studying the projection, you confirm its orientation, knowing that this will be your sanctuary. Once you are satisfied with the layout, it's time to bring it to life, the guide encourages. Transfer the necessary materials from your inventory to construct the house. You delve into your inventory using the power of your mind. Selecting the required building materials, You will them to leave your inventory and assemble themselves into the skeletal framework of your shelter. Piece by piece, the materials are removed from your inventory and positioned with precision, guided by the blueprint of your thoughts. Walls rise, a roof takes shape, and a sturdy foundation forms beneath your feet. As the structure grows, you marvel at the power of your intent the physical manifestation of your will. The guide's voice interjects, acknowledging your progress. Well done! Your shelter is taking shape, providing you a haven from the dangers that lurk outside. After completing the main structure, you start to add finishing touches, crafting windows and a door to secure the entrance. The guide offers words of encouragement, reminding you of the importance of safety and protection. With the final adjustments made, you stand before your newly created shelter, a testament to your resourcefulness and the guidance of your unseen companion. The guide's voice resonates with approval. Congratulations! You have successfully built a shelter, a place where you can rest, recuperate, and shield yourself from the perils of this world. Feeling a sense of accomplishment and security, you enter your shelter, grateful for the refuge it provides. However, the hard ground beneath your feet reminds you of one essential element missing from your sanctuary, a comfortable place to sleep. Remembering the basic knowledge imparted by the guide, You gather a few more wooden planks from your inventory. With swift motions, you assemble a simple, albeit uncomfortable, wooden bed. 
It may not offer the plushness of a luxurious mattress, but it'll do for now. Weary from the day's adventures, you lie down on the crude bed, closing your eyes and allowing sleep to overtake you. As you drift into dreams, you find solace in the fact that you're safe within the confines of your shelter, ready to face the challenges of tomorrow with renewed strength and determination. Chapter 6 A Quest for Comfort The first rays of daylight seep through the cracks of your shelter, gently rousing you from your slumber. As you stretch and yawn, a twinge of discomfort reminds you of the cramped wooden bed you slept on. Determined to improve your sleeping arrangements, you resolve to seek guidance from the ever-reliable voice of the guide. Good morning, you greet the guide through your earpiece, your voice still laced with sleepiness. I woke up feeling pretty cramped on that wooden bed. Is there a way to make a better one? The guide responds promptly, understanding your predicament. Indeed there is! To create a more comfortable bed, you'll need wool. The only source of wool in this land is from the mighty woolly buffalo, a creature that roams these parts. Curiosity peaks, you inquire further. How can I defeat a woolly buffalo and acquire wool? The guide explains. Your best chance of success lies in ranged combat. Craft yourself a bow, and you'll be able to engage the creature from a safer distance. Eager to embark on the quest for a better bed, you recall the basic recipe for a bow. What do I need to make a bow again, you ask? Fortunately, the materials required for a bow are easily obtainable, the guide replies. All you need is wood and string. Wood is plentiful in this realm, and you can fashion string from the webbing of a formidable giant spider. Oh, good. All I have to do is uh, fight a giant spider, eh? Well, I better get to it, you say. Armed with the knowledge, you craft yourself a stone sword and set off into the forest in search of a cave. You don't have to search for long. A short walk from your house, you find a very dark and very creepy looking cave. As you cautiously explore the dimly lit corridors, the echo of your footsteps serves as a reminder of the task at hand, defeating a giant spider. The air grows thick with anticipation as you come face to face with the eight-legged arachnid, swinging your stone sword with precision. You engage in a fierce battle, your health bar depleting with each exchange of blows. The struggle's intense, but your determination fuels your every strike. Finally, with one last swing of your sword, the giant spider is defeated. Its body sprawls on the cave floor, before suddenly disappearing in a puff of smoke, leaving only precious loot behind, string, and some type of spider meat. You retrieve the precious spring that it drops, and against your better judgment, you consume the spider meat, very aware of your dwindling health. Soon, you start to feel strength gradually returning. Satisfied with your victory, you make your way back to the safety of your shelter. At the workbench, you gather the required materials, wood and string, and you combine them with skill forging a sturdy bow. But the preparations are not yet complete. Aware that ammunition is essential for a bow to be of any use, you turn your attention to crafting arrows. Utilizing the resources at your disposal, wood and stone, you will the workbench to fashion you a collection of arrows that will serve you well in your hunts. With your newly crafted bow and a quiver full of arrows, you stand at the threshold of a thrilling hunt. A hunt for the elusive, woolly buffalo. The anticipation courses through your veins as you survey the vast expanse of the blocky world, ready to embark on a new adventure and determined to claim the wool needed to construct a better, more comfortable bed. 
Chapter 7 The Hunt for Woolly Buffalo The time has come to track down the elusive woolly buffalo. The guide's voice resonates in your earpiece, guiding your every move. Remember, obtaining its precious wool is essential for crafting more comfortable beds. Armed with your bow and a quiver full of arrows, you set out on a determined quest. The vast landscapes stretch before you, their majesty concealing the challenge that lies ahead. Your eyes scan the horizon as you tread cautiously, following the guide's instructions. Stay vigilant, the guide advises. The woolly buffalo can be elusive, but its presence will not go unnoticed. Keep your senses sharp. After a relentless search, a massive figure appears in the distance, a majestic woolly buffalo grazing peacefully. Your heart quickens with anticipation. With careful aim, you draw your bowstring taut and release an arrow, watching as it finds its mark. But the woolly buffalo is not easily defeated. It retaliates, charging towards you with raw power. You evade its attacks, relying on agility to outmaneuver the formidable beast. Maintain your focus, the guide urges. Each arrow counts. Keep striking with precision. Undeterred by the buffalo's aggression, you persist. Your arrows find their targets, wearing down the creature's health with each accurate shot. The battle becomes a test of skill and determination, a dance between hunter and prey. Finally, the woolly buffalo succumbs to your relentless attack. It collapses, defeated, but not forgotten. The guide's voice offers praise and caution. Well done! But do not rest now, for there may be more challenges ahead. Approaching the fallen beast, you gather the spoils of your victory. Leather, meat, and a generous amount of wool. These hard-earned resources are going to aid the creation of a comfortable bed. Earn your rest, the guide advises. Continue the hunt. Seek out more of these elusive creatures. Build a stockpile of wool leather, and meat. Your efforts will be rewarded. Emboldened by your triumph, you press on, trekking down additional woolly buffalo. With each successful encounter, your collection of resources grows, a testament to your skill as a hunter. Returning to your shelter, you eagerly set to work at the workbench. Combine the soft wool fibers with supple leather, the guide instructs. Craft a bed that promises a far more comfortable sleep. Using your newfound craftsmanship, you will the workbench to weave together the wool, leather, and the wooden bed, transforming the simple wooden bed into a plush sleeping surface. The guide's voice commends your efforts. Well done, your perseverance has paid off. Overwhelmed with exhaustion, you sink into the bed. The weariness of the hunt dissipates, replaced by the contentment of a well-deserved rest. As you drift off to sleep, your dreams carry visions of future adventures and discoveries. The pursuit of comfort has yielded its rewards, setting the stage for new journeys in this blocky realm. Chapter 8 Unveiling the Path of Magic As you awaken from your restful slumber, a pleasant surprise greets you. A well-rested bonus. The guide's voice echoes in your earpiece. Your rest has replenished your energy. Behold, your mana has increased. Confusion washes over you. Mana? Magic? The possibilities swirl in your mind as you realize that this blocky world holds even more secrets than you initially thought. The guide responds to your unspoken question. Yes, magic exists within this realm. To harness its power, you must unlock different elements and acquire specific spells. Intrigued by the prospect, 
you eagerly await the guide's instruction on delving into the realm of magic. To learn magic, you must seek out ancient books of elemental power, the guide reveals. However, be warned, these books are exceedingly rare and often found in treacherous dungeons. Aware of your current state of readiness, the guy suggests a more immediate goal, crafting leather armor. Try protecting yourself for the dangers ahead, the guide advises. Taking the guide's advice to heart, you gather the necessary resources and you will the workbench to craft you a set of leather armor. Magically and almost instantly it does so. As you don the armor, a sense of security fills you, reinforcing your confidence in facing the challenges to come. Now, the guide continues, it's time to gather iron, a stronger material than stone. You will need it to forge more formidable weapons. With determination in your heart, you set out to create a mine beside your house, delving deep into the earth. The rhythmic sound of the pickaxe against stone fills the air as you tirelessly chip away at the rock. After a significant effort, your hard work pays off. You stumble upon a rich vein of coal a valuable resource for smelting and fueling your endeavors. Excitement surges through you as you realize progress is in fact being made. Continuing your excavation, your efforts are finally rewarded when you discover a small patch of iron. With each strike of your pickaxe, the iron rich ore crumbles, ready to be collected and absorbed into your inventory. Returning to your trusty workbench, you utilize newfound resources and knowledge. Craft a furnace, the guide instructs. With its aid, you can transform raw materials into valuable ingots. Following the guide's instructions, you deftly construct a furnace, a pivotal tool in your journey. Placing coal in the bottom compartment and the iron ore in the top, you initiate the smelting. The furnace crackles to life, and anticipation builds as it slowly transforms raw ore into gleaming iron ingots. With each ingot that drops into your inventory, your excitement grows. Soon, you'll have the necessary components to forge real iron weapons, surpassing the limitations of stone. Chapter 9 Delving the Dungeon Armed with your newly forged iron sword and a quiver of iron arrows for your bow, you strap the bow to your back and sheathe the sword at your side. The weight of the weapons provides a reassuring sense of preparedness as you embark on your next adventure. The guide's voice chimes in, Excellent! You are now equipped for the challenges that await. A checkpoint materializes before your eyes, a visible marker set by the guide. It serves as a guiding beacon pointing you towards a nearby basic level dungeon. With a newfound ability to see and sense these checkpoints, your journey becomes more focused and purposeful. Setting your sights on the dungeon, you navigate through the diverse landscapes of the blocky world. Each step brings you closer to your destination, your determination unyielding. Arriving at the dungeon's entrance, a surge of anticipation courses through your veins. This is the first step towards unraveling the mysteries and treasures hidden within. The guide reinforces your decision. Enter the dungeon and claim the rewards it holds. As you step into the dimly lit corridor of the dungeon's first floor, a series of skeletal adversaries emerge. But instead of fear, you feel a calm resolve wash over you. The skeletons with their rusty and unsharpened weapons are no match for your skill and well-crafted iron sword. Swinging your weapon with precision, you effortlessly dispatch them, their brittle bones shattering with each strike. Your trusty leather armor provides reliable protection against their feeble attacks, its strength evident as their blows glance harmlessly off the surface. 
With each defeated skeleton, bones, and poor quality mana stones are absorbed into your inventory. The guide enlightens you about the potential of these newfound things. The bones you collect can be used to create fertilizer, nurturing the growth of plants. And the mana stones, though of poor quality, hold the potential for enchantments of your items. With this knowledge, you gather the bones and the mana stones, recognizing their value for future endeavors. Your gaze falls upon a new door within the dungeon, beckoning you deeper into its depths. It promises greater challenges and greater rewards. The anticipation swells within you as you ready yourself to step through the door, eager to continue your exploration and triumph over the trials that lie ahead. Chapter 10 The Hidden Treasure As you progress deeper into the dungeon, the air thickens and something just feels strange about it all. A large room sprawls before you, its shadows filled with the presence of formidable enemies known as Dark Dwellers. These menacing creatures stand tall, their ethereal forms shrouded in darkness. Sharp claws and piercing gazes hint at their power. Recognizing the danger that lies within, you crouch down keeping a low profile as you traverse the room. Your bow remains firmly grasped in your hand, its taut string ready to release deadly arrows with each silent draw. The Dark Dwellers remain oblivious to your presence, providing you with a small advantage. Patiently and meticulously, you take aim at each enemy, carefully calculating your shots. One by one, your arrows find their mark, piercing through the darkness and finding their targets. The Dark Dwellers crumble silently, vanishing in wisps of smoke as they meet their demise. Your stealth and precision keeps you one step ahead of them, until a momentary lapse in focus leads to a missed shot. The resounding thud of the arrow hitting the wall disrupts the silence, alerting the remaining Dark Dwellers to your presence. In an instant they turn towards you, their malevolent gazes locked onto your form, and without hesitation, they charge, their claws poised for an onslaught. A surge of determination courses through your veins and a strange desire overcomes you. Drawing upon an inner strength, you unleash a flurry of spinning sword strikes, a skill previously unknown to you. The blades of your weapon dance through the air, striking the Dark Dwellers simultaneously. They fall one by one, their forms dissipating into nothingness. The guide's voice resonates within your mind, revealing the truth behind your newfound abilities. Congratulations! You have discovered a new move, the Tornado Strike, the guide announces. It's a powerful attack capable of defeating multiple enemies at once. But be cautious, it will drain your stamina quickly. Surprised by this revelation, you come to realize that your actions in this world are governed by more than just health and mana. Stamina joins the roster of resources you'll have to manage. Amidst the dissipating darkness, you notice the remnants of the defeated Dark Dwellers vanishing into puffs of smoke. In their wake, they leave behind little bits of iron. You swiftly gather the scattered pieces absorbing them into your inventory. As your eyes sweep across the room, a glimmer catches your attention, a large golden chest positioned in the center. Its ornate design, an aura of mystery calls to you, promising untold treasures within. A sense of anticipation washes over you, and with a hint of caution, you step closer, your hand outstretched to grasp the chest the weight of the moment hangs in the air as you prepare to open the chest, bracing yourself for the wonders 
or perils that may lie within it.